What's good, guys? If you are sick and tired of getting scammed by NBA 2K's packs, make sure to head over to my sponsor. Link down below for the most cheapest, fastest, most reliable MC on their internet right now. What's good, YouTube? It's your boy, Bugs, back on another NBA 2K22 My Team video. And guys, today, we are going over a couple things, all right? Um, we're going to go over how to use the auction house. So if you guys are new to the channel, make sure to sub it up. Comment down below. We have 50 likes on this video. We get a bunch of comments, a bunch of subs. We're going to do giveaways every week, maybe even every day. More support, more giveaways. Whether it's MT, whether we give away a free copy, whether we give away VC, whatever you guys want. Whoever shows support will get the support right back to you. So first off, I'm making this video. Tomorrow's my 21st birthday. I'm pretty freaking hyped. It's going to be lit. But anyways, let's get into this. So if you guys are new to the channel, I'm going to show you how to use the auction house and actually how to make MT in this video. Alright, before I even do that, um, this year they did move locker codes. When locker codes come out, I make videos on them. To get to locker codes, you have to scroll over to home using LB, and then go to My Team Community Hub, and then go to locker codes. That is how you type in locker codes this year. It's not all the way to extras. Extras is now controls, settings, and controller settings, and that is it. Alright, so now, newbies, are you guys ready to how to use the auction house? So first off, how do you unlock the auction house? Well, pretty much... When you get in, if you don't have the auction house um, submitted, you have to go over to home, you have to go to season one and just click A. And that's pretty much how you unlock the auction house. It should give you a little symbol saying you unlock the auction house. And uh, yeah, that's so that's pretty much how you unlock the auction house. All right, that's day one. So pretty much just go over to home and then unlock the auction house. It's gonna be right here. If you don't have the 30 cards, pop a pack and you should have a 30 cards, all right? So that's how you unlock it. Now, how to use the auction house, how to make MT, what is MT, pretty much the whole purpose of this video to help you guys. All right. So how to use the auction house? Well, me personally, this is the beginning of the game. So since you are probably really new to the game, you probably can't afford the highest tier that you're watching. If you're watching this video, the highest tier right now is Diamond. This is day one of NBA 2K20, all right? So day one of NBA 2K20, okay? um looking over it diamonds are very expensive you're probably not going to look over diamonds they're just way way too much money okay so stay away from diamonds amethyst at this stage are expensive well they're actually cheap and it's because no one really likes legends no one really likes no name legends all right so look at that amethyst end pretty much how you use the auction house is pretty much just maximum buyout like when you look up cards you just want to use maximum buyout and now people ask me, do you need to refresh? To refresh, all you have to do is press start, press B, press start. That refreshes the auction house. You don't have to do anything else, okay? So pretty much the maximum buyout, when you want to buy it out, it's 6,600. This is the bid. The bid's the top, buyout is the bottom. And that's pretty much just how you do it, guys. It's very, very simple. That's just literally how you work the auction house. Um, pretty much for sniping how to make mt i've been using the ruby filter the ruby filter has been the hottest for me it's been working pretty well and the cards sell because people like mono ginobili like i said if you're not a no-name legend you're gonna sell all the the no-name legends aren't selling and honestly it makes sense because why do i want a, a no-name legend it doesn't like no-name legends mono ginobili is not a no-name legend people love mono ginobili he's a dog so mono ginobili one of the 2k goats um dick barnett is a no-name legend he was good back in the day but he has a cool jump shot i feel like he would actually sell and he actually has really really good stats i might have to pick him up for 3500 and use him because he looks like a dog and he's a ruby um he was only 6'4 though but pretty much how to use an auction house you literally just go like this you go to the the color and then you just go to maximum buyout that's how i use it that's pretty much the easiest way to use the auction house there's another method um press start and you can just see all the bids if you know pricing you can get some cheap ass bids guys like that Cade cunningham for a thousand i think that's a good price probably not let's see Cade cunningham for a thousand might be a little snipe or i might have lose blow ah right, yeah so we get that Kate Cunningham for a thousand. We could sell him for a pretty good amount. Oh, uh, unless it's doing the glitch where it doesn't pop up. Oh my god. Alright, so pretty much we just got that Kate Cunningham for a thousand MC. Pistons, Sapphire. 
Cade Cunningham, he probably goes for around the same price. Uh, he goes for around the same price. I might even lose MT. Yep, alright. Well, that's an L. We literally lost MT. I don't want to talk about it. But pretty much this method, if you know pricing, I guess you want to stay away from Sapphires. You want to look at um, Rubies. You want to look at Emeralds. And that's pretty much what you want to do. Pay attention to Rubies. Pay attention to Emeralds. Pay attention to some cards that would make sense. Just stay away from Sapphires. They're really oversaturated. They're really, really easy to pull. Like, I just literally going to break even or lose a little bit of MT right there off of... Kate Cunningham. Why is John Collins a gold? He's so good. Ben Simmons is an emerald. Ben Simmons is actually an expensive card. Let's actually go over his card. Ben Simmons emerald on day one. A card that I've been eyeing down. He's actually 1300 MT. He's actually really OP as well. Definitely keep an eye on Simmons. Also, if you guys want, definitely try to keep your eye on Giannis if you want to snipe him out. He's actually a pretty freaking good card and everybody loves Giannis. So, um, that's pretty much how you use the auction house. Now we go to shoes. For shoes, man, you kind of just want to pay attention to diamond shoes. That's it. Anything other than diamond shoes, you really just don't care about. And then we got diamond shoes. We got the colorway. Diamond colorways. Five boosts available. This is also pretty interesting. I'm pretty sure you add your own boost, but you're going to want to look for Nikes. Um, I guess Air Jordans aren't bad. 12,500. But for the boosts... What are the boosts? You know, I would like to know. Air Force High, 5,500. Does that not seem like a steal? Kyrie 5, 4,900. This seems, this seems like a steal. But I have no idea. I guess you need to buy the boosts. I got to... Oh, shoe boosts. Okay. Oh, wow. That's hard. So you got to have all these boosts. Another way to make MT, man, is definitely scope out these diamond boosts. You can make some pretty good MT off it, especially the uh, three-point shot one. So that's another auction house tip. The three-point shot boost is going to make you lots and lots and lots and lots of MT. So if you guys want to snipe out diamond shoe boost, go ahead. Customize the shoe. I do not have diamond shoe boosts. So diamond shoe boosts are going to be pretty cool, man. That is a lot of stuff. And you can customize all your shoes. That is very cool. I kind of like how they added that. You can make a lot of MC off shoes, off using the auction house as well. Pretty much, man, the auction house is easy. You just got to literally just go maximum buyout, minimum buyout. It's pretty self-explanatory, but that is how you use the auction house. And that is how you get the auction house. Um, so, I don't know. That is going to be the end of this video. If you guys do need MC, hit me up. If you have any other questions, hit me up on Instagram and or Twitter. And that is all we got for the video. Hope you guys did enjoy. Let's go Knicks and let's go Giannis. Have a good one. Peace.